I'm in Granada, in the south of Spain. I work in the University of Granada. Uh, Ruben works in the, a company focused in free software called uh, Fidesol. And uh, we are going to present our, uh, our, uh, our, our project that uh, we are developing to, to the Ruben thesis, because Ruben is studying, uh, starting his uh, PhD at the University of Granada, and uh, he's developing a, a simulator that tries to emerge a literary plot from a, a, a self-organizing system. Okay, we, we call it, uh, actually Ruben called it, uh, made a massive artificial drama engine. Uh, you can follow us in, in Twitter and send us an email and everything. Okay, uh, we are going to start the problem that we are going to, to address. We are going to talk about the, the archetypes. We are going to present a methodology to develop uh, in our project. And finally, uh, a complete example uh, on how it's in implemented inside MADE. Okay? Are you familiar with Skyrim? Who here has played uh, Skyrim? A lot of people have played Skyrim. Do you know this guy? No. Do you know this guy? You are wandering and uh, lo uh, looking for loot and fighting enemies, and you find this guy. Oh, I used to be an adventurer like you until I received a, an arrow to the knee. And you say, oh, but you are, oh, I, I really sorry. You continue fighting enemies and you go to another city. Oh, I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I received an arrow to the knee. Okay, you, you too, you too. Oh, very, it's, a, it's a pattern here, I think. <laughs> you continue killing and everything. Oh, I used to be an adventurer like you. And you say, okay, it's not very immersive. Uh, okay, maybe it's, it's, this is just a game and not real life. <laughs> okay, so the idea is uh, how to develop these characters to uh, get a, an interesting literary plot. Because usually these characters, you know, are uh, uh, codely, they are script, they are, they are scripted uh, by hand. But if you have a lot of, maybe hundreds of uh, non-player characters in games, it is very difficult to create literary plots for all of them. So our idea is present a method to automatically emerge the literary plot. We program the, the non-player characters with some parameters that emerge the literary plot. Okay, do you know what archetypes are? An archetype is a literary concept uh, universally recognized. For example, the fall. An hero rises and then he commits something evil and he has to be redeemed. For example, Darth Vader. Darth Vader was a hero and they fall in the dark side of the force and then he killed, he killed, he killed the, the emperor and he turned good again. Or the other very common archetype, the hero. His song. He started like a farmer in an ancient and very stupid planet full of sun, and he, he became a great, a great hero. Okay, there are archetypes that are present in, in, a, in a lot of histories. In every history you see or read or watch the movie, there are archetypes universally recognized. Other archetypes, for example, the travel. Bilbo Baggins well, is in, in his house and just uh, smoking and weed and Please. that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I really uh, I apologize. I get uh, a bit nervous. So, <laughs> other archetypes are the travel. Bilbo Baggins, for example, is a normal guy. He starts a travel, and when he came back to to the Shire, he's a new person. He's uh, more mature. Other archetypes: the old wise, the old wise man, like this one. For example, Obi Wan Kenobi is the, the man you, you are going to, to get some expertise and advice. He advises you, and you become a hero thanks to him. Other, the stepmother. How many stepmothers are in the history? It's a lot of stepmothers. Usually they are bad. And, like and for example, the, ham, the, the Hamlet archetype is very present. For example, the Lion King. Lion King is Hamlet with animals. So it's, there are very patterns, very recognizable in uh, a lot of uh, uh, books and movies and games. So, based in this uh, idea, we want to model this existing archetype that we know that works, because everybody are using it, uh, using them, and uh, models the agents in a simulated environment, for example, a video game. In our case, we are starting with uh, our self uh, uh, engine. Uh, we have also to measure how these uh, stories and archetypes are emerging. Then uh, we are going to, to use uh, the parameters of the agents, for example, I don't know, the hungry level, the angel level, 
the relationship with, with other agents, etc. And uh, optimize these parameters with a genetic algor algorithm to uh, allow the story emerge in our system or in a video game or in something. Okay, before I start, uh, do you know anything about genetic algorithms? Yeah, sure. yeah everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for, the, for the one that they know, doesn't know what it is, there are optimization methods, stochastics, that uh, population based, they use a lot of uh, using NP problem optimization, and well, there are a lot of conference books, and everything. they are very easy to understand, but it's not the, the scope of this presentation, so I'm going to, to skip it. Finally, we are using this this, uh, this system to write uh, scientific papers because I am from the university and you know what uh, happens in the university: publish or publish. So we are focusing in write papers, write papers. So we are using this uh, methodology and system to create graphs like this. You know, wow, bath plot, wow, colors, amazing <laughs> science. <laughs> that uh, you, you can write our papers when. Uh, it, they are still uh, under consideration in a, in a conference. Uh, you can follow our, our Twitter or web when it's uh, uh, published. We will send you if you want. Uh, and now uh, it's time for yeah. to play with uh, the, the, the environment. Uh, Ruben oh. is going to start. Okay, it's my turn. Um, as you may know, the gen genetic algorithms take a long time to work. So uh, I can try to do some things here, but uh, it, it will take long time. Anyway, as a test, I will launch some things. Yes, th this is NetBeans. And this is the application we have done. And, well, I will explain it later. But, now our experiment is being executed while well, he's yeah. opening the the program and no. a genetic algorithm is trying to optimize the parameters of a whole environment. Let's no. learn about uh, this environment. Okay. This is good enough. Okay. Do you do someone know who is it? Uh, he uh, who is him? He, he is Terry Pratchett. He's the creator of uh, this world, and um, uh, we have a chosen world. I will start. You know the order. Uh, we we need a character, and uh, the the first the, the best approach. To, to create a character is to choose a very basic one. So we thought about animals, and we we thought that it could be very great uh, to 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 emerge um, uh, behavior that uh, usually are um, uh, associated with human. So uh, we we thought that this is a this is a test um, environment. So we thought about rats. Um, we we wanted rats that were magical, and we thought about the rats that lives in, that live inside the behind the um, uh, invisible university in Ankh-Morpho. So uh, this is very simple. Uh, this is a, a simplification of a rat. We went to the Wikipedia and we 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 saw what a rat does in his in, in its life, and we 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 selected things that we thought we, that were important for us. So. A rat can move, eat, attack, defend, escape, um, find a mate, uh, have enough of, of a spring, um, born and die. That, that's almost all. <laughs> we thought that was interesting, interesting for us. So this is a finite seed machine that models the things that we have done. And we have selected a very uh, clear language that we, we can uh, lately um, uh, we, we, can, we can use to find different expressions, we, we can model different things to find the patterns that we're, we're, going, we're looking for. So, it's, it's very interesting to remark the difference bet between uh, stereotype and archetype. With this uh, finite state matching, the, rat the rats will act like a stereotype. Each rat will act like a, a generic, we will, will, uh, will have the generic behavior of a rat. So. In a, in a complex system, like the one we are modeling, with hundreds of agents um, collaborating, um, relating, um, eating, and uh, fighting, um, uh, we, we uh, think that uh, we want to model, 
we think that th this um, stereotype, we, we are going to emerge, we are going to, to use the, the language from the, from the finitesis matching to, to emerge di different archetypes. Okay, so um, as, uh, in the genetic, uh, uh, in the genet okay, so sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> so um, we want to evaluate the fitness of our agent, and we we have in this example, so we have uh, done it with uh, Avengers, for example. An Avenger is a, is a rat. This mod this model, uh, this is a model in the in the finitesis machine. A rat that is an avenger uh, is a rat that um, eventually is uh, attacked by other rat, and after a, a while, um, this rat attacks the same rat. This is not uh, implemented because the rat does don't don't have memory. So, um, well, we will come to to this later. When we execute it, we select the the, the configurations. We run the genetic algorithm that um, be behaves uh, as normal, and with, with the configuration, with the best configuration, we, we launch an environment. And this is okay. We we have uh, probably 400 rats here, and we find that one rat is an avenger, and this behavior is found in rat is natch, uh, by the seven the by the 17 and after a while he at uh, 17. So this behavior is not easy to, to find and to find it, it's, uh, we, we have to choose the correct parameters in this uh, silly implementation of a rat to, to emerge uh, a behavior that is not, um, that can be easily found and, and, and that's complex uh, relations. Summarizing, uh, we are going to parting from several actions, the limited action, we want to make another actions we model the fitness function for the, for the genetic algorithm to measure the actions we need. So the parameters of the, uh, of the, of the individuals mm -hmm. are obtained and we can use this set of parameters in a video game or for example, uh, from this law, we can emerge an history, basically converting with Perl from these uh, words to more literary ones. Yeah. Uh, the areas we have used are those one, uh, the, the, main, the most important, the important is uh, JGAP, that is uh, the, the framework we have used for the genetic algorithms, and the, the software is uh, GPL, and we have developed it in Java, in JavaFX, uh, the, the GUI. That, that's the reason why it's always slow. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not so slow, and it's doing things, yeah? So we, we can uh, see how the, the fitness, the number of Avengers in this case, are emerging in this yeah. uh, population. So, uh, 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 this is a, a very be this is a beta version, an, an alpha version, an alpha version. So, uh, see in the roadmap, we, we, we have many items. For example, in implementing more complex agent and archetypes, uh, in importing or and exporting to real game engines. Of course, for example, uh, we can do it with uh, Skyrim. For example, Skyrim has a valuable uh, library for modding. Mm -hmm. combining some kind of thing with this has made to avoid this or friend uh, the adventure the former adventure <laughs> has made uh, said uh, the literary important interpretations and uh, obviously all the other ways of um, matching the behaviors right, right now we are doing it with regular expressions that are very powerful for it but maybe semantic uh, social network analysis and uh, graphs and so on could uh, could also help Okay, that's all I think. And you can focus on GitHub and follow us on, on Twitter. And uh, if you want to contribute, yes, tell us. And thanks to all. Do you have any question? Yes. But in the genetic algorithm kind of sense, how are you permuting the individual 
Population members recombining those artifacts to produce. Okay, the idea is that every chromosome in the genetic algorithm has uh, the set of parameters that model a rat. Right. We have several experiments uh, modeling several types of rats. So okay. the, the chromosome is bigger, or we call this profile, is the number of different parameters for rats. Rat yeah. um, and this is a normal vector that recombines like, a, like a, a normal genetic algorithm. Yeah, in this case, we use 12 parameters to right. model. Yeah, these are uh, the characteristics that have the features and also the probabilities to make uh, decisions. Yeah, to move from any of the oh, states of, yeah, the, yeah, of the finite state, state machine. Yeah. Yes. Basically, all, all of the rats have a history. Hmm, yeah. So, so basically, each of one of those rats will tell you a history of what they are like. That's the key. History. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're quite interested. So, how you form that history? Because, for example, if you, you have a rat that becomes Obi-Wan Kenobi, and obviously he's a consultor, so yeah. Okay. And I want to know, uh, he obviously will tell me some samples of his life, uh, how he beat the ma almighty rat using the force or blah yeah, blah yes. So, all that history is, uh, is, you have a lot, so I can read that, that history. Yeah. Read yeah. That yeah. Can you put a sample? Yeah, yeah, put the, yeah. the log. Okay. I still have to make improvements. We can run one. For example, this one is good enough, maybe. And here is the love okay. of the rat. So that's what, what the rat does? Yeah, in his life. So when you say move, the rat gets moving in a virtual tournament? Yeah. Yes. And uh, of course, if he wins the battle, he will inspire to that if he won the battle. So just now, the only chance is to get all that and tell literally in a story yeah. that would be yeah, uh, just more... Uh, this is, this is the challenge. That's the next step. <laughs> you started from here and you have to write uh, something beautiful. Yeah. Something. In the roadmap. <laughs> and when looking at this next step, yeah. how can you prevent um, the... I got shot in my knee problem. How can you prevent this from happening yes. like 500 times? How can you get enough things so that you don't get duplicates in a huge world if you're looking at something Skyrim-like? We have like 1,000 NPC characters or something like this. For example, can we, we have. Something from this yeah, we, we can add uh, in the fitness value to sell for different archetypes, to force different uh, archetypes emerging. Mm -hmm. So, if, uh, the, the, uh, for example, we have here several Avengers. Mm -hmm. but, uh, we can say, okay, the fitness function that models this uh, environment uh, penalize the algorithm uh, several uh, archetypes at the same time. So, you have to maximize different. Archetypes. Uh, the fitness function and, and genetic algorithms, there are other theory about the uh, restrictions and uh, the guidance that we, we can apply in, in our algorithm. Mm -hmm. Initially, it's a very basic, basic one. But uh, the idea is to, and this is the first experiment we are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the most important thing here is that we are trying to, to model the mood of the story, not, the, not the how they will, they will uh, act when you find them. The background of uh, the backstory of, uh, of the characters. But uh, doesn't this offset the scripting of the individual characters to, to designing the fitness function? So I think in the end, if you need 20 different NPCs, mm -hmm. you still have to have 20 different fitness functions. And you have to well, no, no, not at all, not exactly. It has to develop some kind of history one, for example, a territorial war or Romeo and Juliet. We, we, don't have, we maybe uh, don't set a fixed number of archetypes. But uh, to see the algorithm, the, what uh, the, the algorithm decides. So I we want to, I want in this game, the Romeo and Juliet history. How? For example, being in love with two rats that are uh, different families. You don't have to say, you are from the Capulets and you are for the other ones. That I don't remember. <laughs> so, so Montesquieu. <laughs> so the idea is you, you define a global history, and uh, the system automatically blah, 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 selects you are Capuleto, you are Montez, you are Romeo, you are Juliet, and this history is emerged from the, from the execution. So, so you are playing, and the, the other guys are working while you are playing, for example. 
So the idea is not to model every archetype in the, to the, all the characters in the game, but some maybe two or three or four, mm. and with these four archetypes, generate others, for example. Yeah. And, and it's important to remark that this process is iterative. So maybe you have to, to redesign the agents to, f to fit to an, a language that lets you uh, uh, create an expression, that lets you match a behavior, and iterate and iterate. Other question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, is there any way, for example, if you want to introduce a, a pre-generated uh, character or agent inside the yeah. already living? Uh, we can uh, maybe add a, another finite state machine. Yeah. We, uh, for now, we are using one kind of, the, uh, of finite state machine. We can add several state yeah, but, machines. But I mean, also with a big history. For yeah. example, if you have your own, your own game world, and you know, there are, uh, there are going to be those uh, main characters. And you want them introduced inside the, the world, so all, all, the, all the other evolving agents are going to, to interact with them. Well, the possible yeah, the, in future, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in future, yeah. I know, as I said, it's the first experiment we are. Doing. But the idea is that the, the, the main character yeah. needs to interact even, with the even let the author to create the uh, uh, so Please wait little agent. until the talk is finished before you all come storming in. So the idea is, yeah. this is the first uh, thing that Ruben has made. He, yeah. he has uh, four years to finish uh, his thesis, so we have uh, still four <laughs> years to <laughs> work hard. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. Uh, uh, how many actions? Uh, 15, 15. 15 actions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have more and more complicated. Yeah. But the complex, yes. the, the, mm, the more complex it gets, uh, uh, the, the the difficulty, the most, the more difficult is to find, to model or to, to the, the chromosome will be really um, bigger, and the, the solution is, is more difficult to find. Yeah. Yeah. So you have all the background stories yeah. that uh, you have already yeah. on the app to start a, a really interesting game. This is the goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they communicate uh, uh, with the environment and the environment communicate with the uh, with the neighborhood. So you can you can contact with all your, the an agent can contact with all the agents uh, through the but environment. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, thank you very thank much you. for your... Thank you. Yeah.